It's Friday afternoon in the Big Sky. Bob McGuire with you here in the Q2 Weather Center. And as you can see, it's not that bad of a day in the Billings area, just a little on the cloudy side. Temperature-wise, though, we are above freezing at 37 degrees, so we're doing pretty good compared to, say, like maybe New England. They're not quite as lucky. We have a southwest wind at 16 miles per hour. It gives us a wind chill factor that feels like 28 degrees in Billings right now. We do see a little minor shortwave weather disturbance moving through south-central Montana. It's bringing some spotty rain showers because, remember, we're at 37 degrees now. We're not freezing now. We do see some scattered freezing rain up on the northeast corner of the state and in fact that's where we have a winter weather advisory for one to three inches of snow and also some freezing rain that'll stay with us for a little while into tomorrow also around the Helena area that's an air quality alert for unhealthy air due to smog and we do have a freezing fog advisory up along uh, Fort Peck Reservoir that is now totally frozen over and could see freezing raindrops on roadways and also on your windshield meanwhile we'll pull back and show you the big story a couple of low pressure cells moving into the west coast the one to the north that's going to probably be the one that gives us a chance for some showers this weekend and that low pressure one in california we think that'll follow the jet stream right around and kind of dive underneath us not much of a worry for us what we do see here is some spotty showers with that little shortwave disturbance this afternoon but then that kind of moves away and then later on on saturday could see some scattered rain showers again by say 4 30 in the afternoon 4 36 and then those showers kind of move out of the area most of the scattered snow will stay up in the bear tooth so really not much going there for us as well temperature wise for us will be about 39 degrees next hour down to the low 30s in the afternoon and then back up to 39 degrees Degrees about this time tomorrow afternoon. We'll have a complete forecast coming your way at 5:30 tonight on the Q2 News, or you can check us out online at ktvq.com.